Let us sit back and for a moment appreciate the sheer brilliance that is the nylon strap or the NATO strap, the G10, however you want to call it. This simple woven material has been so instrumental to the development of the wearing experience of the watch. It has perpetuated a trend where the design styling of watches can be based solely around how the strap suits it. As a material, being so rugged and hard wearing, it has perpetuated the idea of further exploration into other materials like rubber straps, for example. And what is really amazing is that over all this time, well over 30 years, these simple fabric straps are as effective now as they always have been. And I believe that they are one of the best accessories that you can get for your watch today. So the history behind the NATO strap is difficult to really source. The time when we saw the strap appear in film was when we watched the original James Bond with Sean Connery and he wore a very simple nylon strap in Goldfinger. This strap was undersized and peculiar and it wasn't until the early 70s did we then see the original NATO strap develop, which was called the G10, made by Phoenix, a company that still produces nylon woven straps today. The term NATO had to do with their stocking number and had nothing to do with the strap being affiliated to the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. But these simple woven material straps as utilities, being used by Navy divers, being used by servicemen, really pushed the material's abilities to its limits. Years later, the nylon strap arrived to market and we have the ability to choose whatever material we like. We have the ability to choose whatever size, whatever finish, and it's amazing just how, as I said in the beginning, how instrumental it is to the development of watches. And even today, there are purists who say, what is the point of equipping such an expensive watch with such a cheap material? Many times you buy the watch and it costs well over 10 times the price of one of these straps. So that begs the question. And there are many purists out there who still don't believe that NATO straps are efficient or great to wear. They believe it cheapens the wearing experience of a watch. But what we can understand is that there is such a broad development of the choices of materials that you can find now. For example, seatbelt nylon. Silky smooth texture, it is absolutely fantastic. A much more hard wearing material like you get with the Zulu straps for example. And then you get various grades of NATO straps that have certain weaves. Of course the tighter the weave of the nylon, the more comfortable it is, the easier it is to maneuver. We have seen a sharp rise in the quality manufacturing of these straps purely because of the demand. Many people are asking for them, so there's a much greater opportunity for creative potential. I think one of the best brands we can look into is Omega and seeing just how they equip their watches with straps. Most of their straps now have the seat belt finish to them. Of course, one of the first straps available was the James Bond edition, which is simply a gray and black combination. You now have red and black, blue and gray, there's so much variety that I hope you'll be seeing now on the screen. So what makes the NATO strap such an effective accessory and why is it so great for your watch wearing experiences? It allows you to change up the look of the watch on the fly every day. If you have a watch that you want to dress down, that you want to make look simpler and out of the way, there's an opportunity for that. If you want to dress it up and really bring out some of the accents on the piece, you have that ability as well. If you want to make it formal for a formal occasion, if you want to make it more sporty, those are other examples. But what's even better is that the use of color allows you to be so much more creative with your wearing experiences. If you have a faded bezel insert, if your dial has gone a tropical brown color, there is so much opportunity to capitalize on these elements. Just for example, the faded tritium effect. If we have faux patina or if we have real patina on the dials, you're able to use something as simple as a khaki colored strap and that accentuates those elements on the dial. It makes the watch all the more exciting to look at and infinitely more fun to play with. It's very difficult to pinpoint just how many straps there are out there now because the market is so saturated with them. But there are some brilliant choices and I can recommend some to you at the end of the video. But what I really wanted to emphasize with this video and I hope to discuss a bit more now is that it is such an effective material. Nylon as a fabric is so much more usable than rubber. Now we see that rubber straps are the craze. Sports watches are equipped with these materials that frankly cannot hold a candle to the effectiveness of a nylon strap. When you compare the softness and the comfort factor of nylon next to rubber, when you consider that rubber is going to dry out, it's going to start fraying in places, the nylon is a much more effective material. 
Though both of these materials are made of plastic, the nylon is able to withstand a lot more and take a lot more stress than rubber can. The only real element that affects the nylon strap is flame or fire. Now there is a good side to the use of flame on these straps because you can easily melt away frayed edges or ends that seem to be coming undone in places. But if you hold a flame to the material itself, it will burn. Saying that, it's down to you to find the best material you possibly can, whether that is seatbelt nylon or the more rugged nylon that you would find on Zulu straps, for example, or purlon, which is another very finely woven fabric. Perhaps you're more interested in nylon straps that have a Velcro underside, so the idea of strapping it on and taking it off is much easier. My thought process going into this was to look at the nylon strap as it was all those years ago when it was first introduced by Phoenix and how it has developed into this huge spectrum where we all have this ability to communicate how we feel, what we want to wear, what combination suits our personalities and our tastes the best. In a world where conformity is so celebrated, it's nice to have such a simple, easy alternative to change out what the mood is you're feeling on your wrist. As far as recommendations go, there are a few. You might find some of them quite simple, but this is a very basic guide. The first I would suggest is a standard gray NATO. If you can find one that has an almost turtle dove sort of gray color to it, that's the best option at first. You also want to look into black NATO straps because they are very effective, very easy to wear with any watch. The next strap I would highly suggest is the RAF style NATO, worn originally by Sean Connery as James Bond, which is just simply black with red and green stripes. It's very striking. It's also very understated. So it allows the watch to look very plain from a distance. Only when you look up close do you notice that it has a very diverse color scheme. Another color that I highly recommend is navy blue. If you can find navy blue with a seatbelt nylon fabric, it is so effective. Really dresses up the watch well. Another example, if you can find a Marine Nationale NATO, which has a olive drab finish with a simple yellow line through the center, also really nice. Another fan favorite is the standard khaki color NATO, which is very effective on paler skins, but also works so well when you have a watch that has faded tritium styled loom on the dial. Finally, if you have the ability, have a look into Omega's straps because they are extremely well made. The choices of colors are very unique to the brand and from there, you not only have high quality seatbelt nylon, but also a very diverse selection of color choices. Like I said, it's very difficult to hone in on certain colors that you like, but there are so many options out there. Nylon straps shouldn't be taken seriously, or should I say, not as seriously as many people perceive them. We have to remember that these were so effective when they were being used, and their simple purpose was to be there to keep the watch on the wrist even if a spring bar decided to break. Even to this day, these straps and their application is so effective, making for a much more exciting wearing experience, allowing you to diversify your choices. It's all the more comfortable, more fun, more adventurous, and ultimately adding more joy and pleasure to our watch wearing experiences.